Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while since I practiced medicine. However, there there has been uh, a national emergency, and Donald Donald Trump has been in an accident. And as the Surgeon General of the United States of America, it is up to me to fix him. Now, on my desk here, I'm not sure why I've received his his mail. I believe this is Hillary Clinton congratulating him on the Republican nomination. Maybe it's because he's in the hospital here. Your vote counts. Is Trump a gold-hearted hero or a stone-hearted villain? Pick the organ and cast your vote. Wow. All right. Um, this is this is very very heavy stuff. So we need to perform a heart transplant. But we have to choose what to give him. Now I'm going to make sure that this video is is politically neutral by saying that I just hate politics. So therefore, that is my stance, Mr. Trump. Don't worry, I'll save you. All human lives are valuable, no matter what. I've always wanted to touch your hair. It's just been, it's, it does, it, now, the, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we know once and for all if it's Mr. Trump's real hair or if it's not his real hair. Now, you know, I did see this image on the internet some time ago that showed a, a beach somewhere, I, I believe it was some, perhaps in Scotland or, or Ireland, and it was a beach where the rocks were covered in, in what looked to be Donald Trump's hair. And so since then, I've, I've been very curious if it, it really, it does not appear to be coming off. So either that's some great glue or it is, it, it may, it may sincerely be Mr. Trump's real hair. All right, Mr. I just wanted, it's something I always wanted to do. Okay. We're going to remove the cloth here because it's very hard to operate on someone when, when they're covered up. Mr. Trump, I do apologize. This may hurt a bit. If I've not given you proper anesthetic, um, but, oh, dude, you want, actually, you know what, this is, this is probably a good time to give this to you, here, just a surgery snack for you, everybody loves steak, I feel like you especially would love steak, especially, like, given your Cinco de Mayo photo, I think you love steak, especially when it's in a walled bowl. What's going on here is I'm going to need to uh, acquire a Shriken which is perhaps the most uh, professional surgery tool possible for one to use. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to angle it into his ribs. Now, for some reason, it's very odd that that, that does not seem to actually be um, breaking his, his ribs. Very strange. Well, anyway, I guess instead we'll just have to use the... The hatchet again. Like I said, it's been a long, it's been a long time. There we go. Come on, that's that's more like it. Let's just get those pesky. You don't need those ribs. Remember how Harry Potter survived when his entire arm was made into nothing, no bones. They removed all the bones in his arm. He was okay. That's looking good. That's looking good. Now I feel like we just need to remove some of those um, bone fragments there. Including the one that seems to be really there. Do you have a? There appears to be an alien inside of Mr. Trump's uh, spleen. That's very concerning. Um, now, what I'm, I'm concerned I may find in here is that all along Mr. Trump has been mind controlled by a an alien who has lodged it himself or herself or itself uh, into Mr. Trump's spleen. Now, this is a common condition known as alienitis, and uh, it seems to affect the majority of politicians, actually, so it would not be anything too uh, unlikely. Mr. Trump, are you uh, are you enjoying your steak? It doesn't look like you've um, you consumed very much of it, which is a bit worrisome. I mean, would some, some pancreas or spleen do it for you a little bit better? Um, there, there you go, sir. No, not a, not a fan, are we? Huh. I do need to cut away your stomach, I believe that is. So let's acquire let's acquire a very um nice gold plated. Well, that's his Las Vegas uh, casino right there, I, I, I believe. Um, now let's just take this nice gold plated exacto knife because you deserve nothing but gold inside of you. We'll snip there at the uh, the top. 
having a little bit of trouble accessing this right here, but, but, oh man, this bone is, uh, being very unhelpful. Whoa, 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 you need to stop with that. Okay, maybe we can access it this way. Come on, can we, can we really, can we see it? My watch has just fallen into Donald Trump. I hope you enjoy watches, Mr. Trump, especially when they're inside of you. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Is it, where do I need to cut? It's somewhere here. Come on. You need to just, just, please. There we go. That's much better. Okay, okay, very good. Now, that medical bill is, is getting, oh, there we are. I got you. I got you. The medical bill is, um, is going fairly, it's getting very high. But here in America, that's how it works. And with a small loan of a million dollars, it appears that you'll still be able to pay it off. So that's not to worry uh, at all. How do I open this up? Oh, Jesus, no! No, don't do that. Oh my goodness, we're not in Star Trek. Okay. <gasps> no! Oh, 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 I almost just lasered Mr. Trump into oblivion. Oh my gosh. Oh boy, wait, where is your, uh, where's your heart? Is it in here? Is that what Hillary Clinton sent you as a present? Is she sent you your heart? Is that how this worked? I need to figure out how to get this open. Or do, no, I guess I don't. I should stop your blood loss. Which is the blood loss though? Uh oh. Oh, please be the right one. Please be the right one. I really hope you're the right one and you're not gonna ruin everything right now. <sighs> please, I don't wanna lose my license. I don't wanna lose my license. Come on. That's not good! What have I done? I ruined everything! No! No! No, stop! Stop! Why? I was just trying to fix- I just wanted to try fixing it, and then it- No! Oh, this is a problem! I think it's all over! I don't know how to open the box! Open the box and just- Maybe the laser will fix it! I think the laser will fix it! Here we go, that's just laser- it will laser everything and it'll all be good. Yep. Nope, not- mmm, mmm. Oh, his heart was not replaced, and unfortunately he died during the operation. The summary of your bill for hospital services is detailed below. Total balance is your responsibility. Please remit the full payment at your earliest convenience. I was charged $400,000 for the gold axe. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm kind of digging the heart of gold. It's pretty cool, and I kind of want to save that for myself. So... <laughs> I might perform a, a heart transplant on myself after we're done here. That's a, a thing that may happen. Anyway, oh my goodness, I almost forgot to give you your steak. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, and your medical bill is already higher than it was before, but that's not a problem because, um, because you're gonna live this time, okay? Now, let me just, let me just go ahead and throw these pesky rib fragments away. Um, now all presidents of the United States are required by law to to get a, a bionic uh, chest installed that is bulletproof. So this is really just after I give you the heart, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you that that upgrade. It's like you know in a video game when you when you get a when you reach a new level and you unlock new skills, like that's what happens here. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Ah, okay. This is very stressful, but as the Surgeon General of the United States, I'm used to stress. And long hours, I drink myself to sleep every night with a full bottle of scotch. I'll probably need a liver transplant soon as well, but um, that's okay because there are plenty of bionic gold livers out there and I actually am kind of looking forward to that opportunity. So now it is time very persistent. Now, Mr. Trump, I do have to decide what heart to give you, and this is a very, this is a very difficult decision to make. It's giving me great difficulties for some reason. There we are. I believe that the heart has now been detached. Okay, but we have to act fast because he is losing a lot more blood than he once was. So, let's retrieve the heart. Here we go. Let's get that thing out of here. Looking good. Oh boy, it's the moment of truth, and we uh, we have to act fast with the five milliliters per second blood loss. Do we give him a heart of stone or do we give him a heart of gold? Now, I really want the heart of gold for myself. This is not a reflection of my political views. 
I want to make that abundantly clear here. As a Surgeon General, I am required to be neutral in my decision making. No matter if I liked or didn't like Mr. Trump, I have to give him what I think is in his best interest. Now, on one hand, gold would look great in me, but it would probably perform better in Mr. Trump. However, that said, I do think, I do think that, that Stone could also see gold is very soft, it's very malleable, and that could be problematic down the road where stone should probably maintain its shape. You see how it's maintaining its shape here? By not maintaining its shape? That's why I'm leaning towards stone, because I'm selfish and want the gold heart for myself, which I'm going to give myself later on. There you go, Mr. Trump. You're saved. You may continue with your life. I hope you enjoy your steak when you wake up because you really didn't touch it and I'm kind of offended. I spent a very long time preparing that and it's very disappointing. Now, a mere, um, a mere $509,000 for the surgery, which really anyone could afford, as I mentioned, with a small loan of a million dollars, but Mr. Trump, he probably, that's what he wipes his butt with when he goes to the bathroom. So, anyway, um, I think he has a gold toilet, actually. If I'm not mistaken, I believe I saw that somewhere, sometime. And the gold toilet is probably worth more than that as well. So with that said, uh, I would like to thank you all for um, spectating this this surgery where um, I think we did pretty well. We are now a national hero. Uh, so on that note, um, make sure to like if you like. You can check out more Surgeon Simulator videos in the playlist and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. And watch it.